kitchen. All right, Chris is gonna take the baby, and I'm gonna go over what we bought at the grocery store today. Lots of goodies. So we're doing a free crock pot group, which starts on Monday, um, and I'll probably be sharing this video in there too. But I often have people ask me, what do I buy? What am I looking for at the store? Um, and so I'm gonna go over everything with you really quick. Hi, Danelle. She's in our crock pot group and one of the awesome coaches on our team. Who else we got on here? Kelly, hey. All right, so they've heard me a million times kind of talk about what I eat at the grocery store because um, there are some of the awesome coaches on our team that actually started in, in challenge groups with us. So, all right, let's cut to the chase. Let me move in a little bit closer and kind of tilt this down a little bit so you guys can see. I brought out just a couple things that I didn't buy today, but I wanted to point out um, that we do already have on hand, which is pecans. So I always think it's a good idea to get a nut. You guys are going to notice that I buy a lot of organic. You don't have to buy organic. That's my personal preference for me and my family. And to me, it just eliminates the guesswork of does it have a chemical in it? Does it have a filler in it? Um, you know, does it have preservatives in it? It eliminates that for me. And so I choose to buy organic. So you guys are going to see a lot of organic here. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I love either almond milk, coconut milk, or I'm going to cashew milk here lately, unsweetened vanilla, because it's 25 calories. If you were doing um, almond milk, you know it ranges anywhere between 35, 45 calories, which, you know, it's not that big of a difference, but to me, this still tastes really good, and it's a few less calories. So I've been switching to cashew milk, unsweetened, and then, um, okay, I'm just gonna kinda go through everything bit by bit. Salsa, we are making a recipe this week which includes salsa in our crock pot. It's gonna be black beans, chicken, salsa, um, corn, and then we're gonna put it in our crock pot and then um, put it on top of um, rice. So, here's the type of corn that I buy. Yes, I buy organic. I think this is very important because corn is one of the most genetically modified things that you can actually buy along with soy. So, I buy frozen, organic, non-GMO. That's what I choose to buy. So I got two bags of those today. Here is my salsa. I usually get Simple Truth brand. They didn't have it today. Yes, again, I buy organic because again, it's gonna, it's gonna be a very clean salsa if I don't wanna sit and make my own homemade salsa, which I don't. And I have people often say, you should make your own. That's awesome. I love when people make their own, but literally we cook every single meal in our house, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and we do it every single day almost besides the one day we go out to eat. And so to eliminate that in my life, I buy my own salsa. I don't make it. All right. Then, yes, we do buy jelly sometimes. Mm. <laughs> this is kind of like our special treat because with the jelly, the sugar in it, it's not super high. It's eight grams of sugar for one tablespoon. Um, but I do, again, buy organic because the ingredients in it is just strawberries, cane sugar, um, and then that's about it. So... We love croutons. We make a lot of salads in our house. Everybody always asks me, what kind of croutons do you buy? This is what I buy. They're organic croutons. Um, croutons usually have a lot of other garb in it. So when I buy organic, again, I know that I can read each ingredient and I know what it is. I'm going to tilt this up a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then let's go over here to lettuce. So typically I buy romaine. They are out of romaine today, boo. So I got an organic mix of spinach and kale. And then we also love these, um, which is a salad maker. We'll occasionally have these and they are organic. I think this one is an organic brand. Um, they were kind of limited on what they had today, but it's a, like a little salad kit, okay? So we got all of that and I always have people ask me about quinoa. You can buy quinoa, make it ahead of time if you want. That's cool. Um, again, this is where we make every single meal every day, and we like to eliminate time. So we buy frozen bags of organic quinoa. This is what it looks like. I had somebody messaging me the other day saying, what in the world is quinoa? Like, I've never made this stuff before. We didn't know how to pronounce it either at first. We quinoa. Called it, I mean. We called it quinoa. Yeah, it's quinoa. Um, but... This is, you pop it in the microwave for four minutes and it's done. That's it. So I bought, um, I like this one. It's a white quinoa. And then Chris really likes this one. Love it. 
It has, um, it has garlic. He was like, what is in this? I think it tastes like garlic, and it does. It's made with garlic and sea salt. And then, again, so we're doing a lot of crock pot recipes this week that actually call for quinoa. Um, we love the frozen. Adorable sidekick. Angela says we got adorable sidekick. Isn't it cute? So sweet. Okay, and um, this is going to be a surprise in Reese's lunchbox. Now, pretzels aren't the most healthiest thing. I'm not going to lie. They're not the healthiest thing. But when you look at all the other options out there, um, I just was going to put this as a treat in her lunch this week. And it also has almond butter. And almond butter is, is really good for you. So, she does. this is something new. Yeah. Yeah. This is something new that I found. Uh, we pack her in. lunch every day. And it's extremely clean. Yes. For a four-year-old. Very and she loves it all and eats it up. She eats like an adult. Yes, she does. Okay, so the next thing is organic corn and quinoa blend. I love this. Um, typically, this is what we buy when we do pasta, but on our crock pot challenge this week, um, I do recommend whole wheat pasta for the baked ziti because when it's in the crock pot, um, this doesn't take very long to warm up. Like the quinoa and rice blend is done very quick when you put it in boiling water. So if you put it in the crock pot, it became very mushy. We learned that the hard way when we had a very mushy baked ziti one time, but it's it still, still good. It still tastes good. So um, for our crock potters, you do want to get whole wheat, but this is typically what we like to buy if we're going to be making, um, we make our own macaroni and cheese. We don't buy a box macaroni and cheese. All we do is boil this, add in some plain Greek yogurt, add in cheese, um, and mix it up, and it's really good. We call that protein, protein mac and cheese because it has plain Greek yogurt in it. All right, and then rolled oats. That's a staple in our house. Um, everybody always asks me about what kind of barbecue sauce. Again, you can make your own barbecue sauce. It's awesome if you have time to do that. That's great. But again, I just buy an organic barbecue sauce. I know everything that's in it. This is what we use. We have a crock pot recipe we're doing this week. It's pineapple and barbecue sauce and chicken. You throw it in there. You top it over rice. It's Hawaiian chicken. Mm. Mm. Yummy in our belt. You want to know what we have for treats? Back in the day, we used to have what? Little Debbie's. Little Debbie's. Ice cream. And we still kind of like to have a sweet treat after dinner. Now, for me, I've converted over to having my shake. Um, so anybody who follows me, you know that I use Shakeology because I feel like it's a very clean product that doesn't have all the chemicals and fillers and all the other garbage that you find out in supplements. So it's the only thing I use. And I use it at night for my sweet treat and my cravings. But Chris has his at work during the day. So often, he will go to the pantry and get some organic chocolate chips. These are amazing. Really hit the spot. Yes. Yeah. All right, this is new. Hello. Thank you to Christina Clay if she ends up watching this live video. Um, in our challenge group, a few people have been posting about Starbucks having this peppermint mocha. Usually I do try to buy organic coffee. We haven't found one that we've been in love with. We've kind of switched back over to um, having Starbucks. And um, this one, actually, for the peppermint, I wanted to sit and read the ingredients. It's just coffee beans and natural flavors. So it doesn't have, like, garbage in it because I was kind of nervous about that. But I read the ingredients were good. And, okay, so anybody who has kids and you pack their lunch, it's really hard to figure out what can I pack them that they don't have to warm up. Well, first of all, Reese is awesome. She eats cold chicken. Um, so if we have leftover chicken, we usually put that in there. And really, guys, cold chicken is no different than if you're going to eat chicken salad. Um, everybody always thinks, oh, I can't, I'm on the run or I'm on the road a lot. I won't be able to warm up my food. Well, cold chicken, I mean, you can, if you're eating chicken salad, you're eating cold chicken. So, um, but we also buy this. I love Applegate Farms. They have a really good nitrate-free, um, lunch meat so this is what i buy whenever i do lunch meat for her i love applegate they're awesome I actually bought another applegate product let me see if i can find it oh we're doing breakfast burritos um on our crock pot challenge this week and so these are the sausages that i got to go in it um so again it's a nitrate free sausage so that's what i will be using and eggs we always either buy natural or organic. Most times I try to buy organic, but a lot of times Simple Truth won't have, not a lot of times, but often they won't have very many organic eggs. So um, why I like organic is, yes, it's cage-free, but also the feed that they're giving the chickens is also organic. So when you're thinking about buying eggs and you're buying the natural brand, 
yes, they're cage free. Yes, they're not pumped with antibiotics or um, steroids. So that's a big, huge plus, but they don't say anything about what they're feeding them besides saying it's a grain, grain free diet. If it's an organic egg, it's an organic grain free diet. So that means non GMO corn, um, non GMO soy, things like that. So I do buy organic eggs and they are more expensive. Yeah. It's what's important to you. All right, so in our crock pot challenge, we're also making a butternut squash soup. If anybody hates to dice a butternut squash, it's not fun. I've sliced my finger how many times? Ugh, I don't even want to count. We got new knives and I've sliced my finger. They're extremely sharp though. They're really sharp. So, yes, this is gonna be a time saver. Um, organic carrots, we eat these like crazy. The most amazing hummus, if you guys have not seen me post about this. Amazing, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's carrot hummus, and I have people say, okay, well, can we call this a veggie because it's made with carrots? You can't call this a veggie. Hang on, we got a little. The other <laughs> baby wants to say hello. Hi. You can't call this a veggie, cannot, because it is still made with beans. But it is, it is also made with carrots. It's amazing. It's such a good hummus. Like, But keep in mind, if you follow the portions, you um, it's, it's a blue container. And the blue container is not as big as, as some of the other containers. But you can still get a lot of hummus in that blue container. Okay. Then um, I got red skin potatoes. Um, these things. Again, if I'm at Kroger, like typically... Anything I can buy organic, I will. They don't have sweet peppers there that are organic. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. When they don't, they just go with whatever they have. Um, that's why we do love going to Whole Foods because there's more of an option. They have a lot more organic food there, but um, when they don't, we just buy what they got. So I love these. These are great to go with hummus. They're great to cut up and dice and put in your salad. They make awesome salads, which leads me to things I put in my salad, cucumbers, um, red onion, organic cherry tomatoes. Um, okay, if you guys see our banana collection over here, I still have two bananas hanging on the banana thing. We eat a lot of bananas. They go in our shakes. We love bananas. I eat them for breakfast. I make um, clean pancakes with them, clean waffles with them. Bananas are our life. So we have a lot of bananas. Everybody always asks me what tortillas do you buy. Whole Foods, I love their organic 365 brand. That's what I typically would go with, but I don't always make it to Whole Foods. So I like this brand, Ezekiel. Um, Ezekiel is a very, very clean product. It has organic, organic sprouted wheat, filtered water, organic um, sesame seeds, organic sprouted soybeans. So it does have soy in it, but it is organic, so it's not GMO. Organ, organic sprouted barley, organic sprouted milk, organic sprouted lentils, organic sprouted spelt and sea salt contains no GMO. That's what's in these, okay? There's not a lot of clean tortillas out there. I know um, I often tell challengers that they can't find this um, or they can't find it organic. Uh, and this, this wrap does kind of fall apart. So what Chris and I have learned to do recently as I've been making Reese egg wraps or um, things for her lunch, grilled cheese, is that if you lie it in the pan and you spray uh, cooking spray on it and lay it in the pan and let it kind of cook and then flap it over and kind of make it almost like a quesadilla and then cut it in half, your tortilla will not fall apart because you've made it kind of crispy. So that's what we've been doing, okay? Um, apples, we always gotta have a fruit in our house. So apples, we're getting apples. Spaghetti squash is awesome. If you guys are trying to cut down on carbs, spaghetti squash is an amazing spaghetti. Okay, um, I love blue cheese on my salads, so good. And then um, healthy carbs, sweet potatoes are amazing. Okay, and let's see, oh, yogurt, I usually buy organic. They didn't have it today at Kroger, so what did I go with? I love um, Fagey, Fagey, whatever that brand is. So that's what I went with chicken. We eat a lot of chicken at our house and ground turkey. This is our meat selection for today. Again, I do buy organic, okay? I will admit organic chicken is very expensive, okay?
Okay, um, I paid, I have one and a half pounds of chicken and I paid $10.49 for it. Okay, so again, it's what's important to you if you want to buy it or not, um, but that's what my family prefers. And then, Reese doesn't know about this yet, but we're going to have a little art project. Cast you. And cast you. Hey, Reese. She's in bed. Oh, she's in, oh. It's nap time. It's a nap time. There we go. All right, so that's it, guys. That's what I buy. Um, fish. I do buy fish, but I only buy it at Whole Foods. I only like their brand. We've tried Kroger's. It's been, salmon's been really fishy. Cod's been really nasty. Um, Whole Foods has a really great brand. I wish I could show it to you right now, but it is their friend. very knowledgeable. The guy there is amazing. Yeah. They have like a whole little fish part, and I've sat and I've asked them about wild caught versus farm raised, and he educated me on it. Um, so it was very informative. Um, but yeah, so. That's where we get our fish from, and I usually buy the frozen. Does anybody have any questions? We got like 35 people on here. This is your time to ask some questions. I gotta put my groceries away pretty soon because they need to be in the refrigerator. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna jump off here. Even though I won't be live, you can still comment below if you do have questions and let me scroll and see if I've missed anybody um, as, as I've been jabbering here. I don't see that I missed a question from anyone. Kelly Branson, hey, she said hi. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. I hope everybody has a happy Sunday. See you later.